Dear friends, it is Monday, December 5, 2022, the second week of Advent. We're in a series here at Valley Presbyterian Church where we're looking at the characters of Christmas in order to understand what kind of Christmas character we all need to have. And this week we look at Joseph, who displays in the story we're going to be looking at from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. In that story, he displays what you might call a countercultural courage. And uh, we're going to look at that figure, and we're going to begin with verses 18 and 19 today from Matthew chapter 1. Uh, there's been a genealogy that has led up to this uh, that connects uh, the birth of Jesus with all the work that God has done in the, the story of this world and the story of Israel. And now, uh, verse 18. Now, the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in the following way. His mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be pregnant from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man, a dikaiosune, that word righteous, unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to put her away or to divorce her quietly. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, have you uh, have you ever had a plan for your life? We often take a while to generate our life plans. Some people know from the beginning they have an outstanding talent or they have a family tradition that's a, of, a, of a profession or an, an occupation that they see themselves moving into. But many people in, in the West uh, do education uh, into their 20s. And so they delay this choice. In the first century, people tended to track toward a life plan earlier. They married earlier and they picked uh, the work that they were going to do. Most of them, of course, connected to work on the land. Joseph was a carpenter and he lived in a small town called Nazareth, very small, and about 50 families we know from archaeology. And he, so he knew his profession. And the families, of course, all knew one another, and the families would agree often ab about the marriage of their children. The parents would make a tentative agreement, and then if, if the boy and the girl, as they grew older and became teenagers, agreed, uh, there would be a formal betrothal, which was the equivalent of a marriage. And then um, the whole village would celebrate, eventually, that connection. And Joseph's plan was to be a husband and a father. It was to join his two families the family, his family with Mary's family and start a new branch of that family. His plan was to work in that carpentry shop making uh, tables and, and chairs and uh, cribs and maybe to be able to add on to the family compound after the marriage and, and create a little crib for a child that he and Mary might have together. So that was his plan. And it no doubt was a plan that he felt was endorsed by God. He was a righteous man. He probably prayed about it. But in our scripture lesson today, in these two verses, Joseph has decided to abandon this plan. Mary has shown up pregnant, and she's got a story of, of being visited by an angel and this being a holy child. And obviously, Joseph is finding that very difficult to countenance, to believe. And uh, it's interesting. He um, has the right of what you might call public vindication there, aren't, there isn't a court system in this uh, era in a little village, a little hamlet like this. There would be in a, a court system in Jerusalem, but not in Nazareth. And so justice was...